She's very selfless, even though she has a lot of issues herself. Having her there in your corner, no matter what, is awesome. So it's, it's, it's uh, you know, it's built a really good bond between us. She's like my best friend, she's my little sister. I was three and a half and I was diagnosed with CF. Gaining weight was always an issue and eating was always an issue and everything along with that. I didn't really have breathing and lung problems up until my freshman year of high school. It became more and more intense where every year was another hospital admission and another hospital admission. You know, we'd be driving to the hospital and she would just not have enough oxygen that she would be passing out. She was in a different hospital and they basically came in and said, you know, we can't do anything for you. You're going to be put on, you know, go home, be on hospice care, and that's all we can do. And then that's when uh, the connection with Loyola was made. I walked in the room and within moments it became pretty clear to me that she was teetering on the brink of disaster. She was you know, gasping for every breath, working laborously, you know, just to breathe. What a gal. She was placed oh on gosh. ECMO so and the fun. purpose of that is to, to deliver adequate oxygen levels to her body. Preoperatively that went smoothly, even to the point of getting her up and mobilizing her, getting her walking again, try to keep her in reasonable shape to undergo a big surgery like a lung transplant. Just being told that they were going to at least try to evaluate me and get me on the list was I don't even know how to describe it. Just the best, the best feeling. Time was of the essence, and, and she really had no other good alternative to transplant as far as, you know, to keeping her alive. When my mom got the call that there was a set of lungs, um, and we had the choice to accept them or not, and so she accepted them. We were able to get a good pair of lungs uh, in a reasonable amount of time, and. The transplant went well, very well. She's, she's a fighter and, and you know, every step along the way, you put a goal in front of her and she achieves it. Post-transplant, we are almost six years out now. February of 2018, I met the love of my life. So he reminds me of my brother a lot because he is always there. Donors' families has lost somebody that they loved but that person they lost has chosen to help other people. And I think that is um, a very selfless act that has enabled uh, my sister to be here. I love getting texts from her and pictures of things that she's doing and, and new milestones in her life. It makes it all worthwhile. I just am so grateful to live this amazing life. I wake up and take a breath a deep breath, like a real deep breath, and it feels like a dream every day. <laughs>